Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're going to take a look at 10 affordable cologne fragrances that I think you should know about. So let's jump into it. All right, so we are back with another affordable clone fragrance video, and today I got 10 of them for you. Whole variety of ones here, different seasons, different occasions, all sorts of different taste profiles, scent accords in these ones, so nice variety for you guys to check out. I'm gonna have links down in the description to all these fragrances if you decide you wanna check any of these out. So let's quit screwing around and let's get into it. All right, first up, going to the house of Mason Alhambra, and it's Mason Alhambra is at Kismet Moscow. And you pick this sucker up for $23 at Discounters. And this is a clone of by Killian's Vodka on the Rocks. And this is just an absolutely gorgeous spring summer style of fresh clean fragrance. Opens up very bright, very clean, very sort of citrusy, fresh spicy with some really nice soapy aldehydes that's worked in there. Very clean style of fragrance, has that fresh spiciness in there to give it a little bit of a pop with those citruses. And in the mid, you get this nice kind of green, watery lily of the valley, mixing with some florals, some rosiness to this. So it has this sharpness to it, this crispness to it, this green aspect to it, but it also has this kind of elegant, soft florals that work around the edges. Really a nice spring summer fragrance, like I said, Bright, clean, has a sharpness to it, but also has this kind of elegance to it with those florals just kind of dancing around the edge. Performance on this is pretty good. I get about six up to seven hours worth of longevity and it does project fairly good for the first hour and a half before it does settle back in. Perfect for the spring, perfect for the summer. Might not be for everybody. This is like a little bit of a unique scent profile on this, but if you like that kind of floral, that fresh spicy citrus with those kind of soapy aldehydes and that little bit kind of watery greenness, this is definitely something you want to check out. That's Mason Alhambra's Kismet Moscow. All right, and up next, going to the house of Latafa, and it's Latafa's Ragba for man. Now you can scoop this sucker up for $22 at various discounters, and this is a clone or twist dupe inspired by of Creed's Green Irish Tweed, and it's a really good dupe of Green Irish Tweed. Very smooth style of fragrance, Opens with a nice violet bergamot pineapple, so a little bit of citrus in the opening, but those clean, fresh aromatics work in there almost immediately. That nice, clean lavender, some geranium that's in there. There's a little bit of vanilla sweetness and some nice, creamy sort of sandalwood that comes in at the base. Makes this a very smooth version of Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Has that spring grassiness to it, that fresh laundry, that summery spring sort of feel going on to it. But it's a little bit different than some of the other clones out there. Thinking of Armaf Train A Wee. A little bit more sweetness with that one. Then there's the El Harmin Atolls. That one's a, a little bit more of a fuzzy texture to this. This is just kind of a creamy, smooth, spring fresh version of that Creed Green Irish Tweed. And I really, really enjoy this one. Performance on this is pretty good. I got about six, seven hours of longevity and it does project fairly good for the first hour and a half before it settles back in. Spring, summer banger, great casual wear fragrance. You're gonna feel fresh, you're gonna feel clean, have that sort of spring morning sort of vibe going on to it. Definitely worth checking out. That's Latafa's Ragba for man. All right, up next, going back to the house of Mason Alhambra. It's Mason Alhambra's Porto Neroli. Now you can scoop this sucker up for $19 at discounters. And this is a great clone of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. If you like Neroli, you are going to absolutely love this fragrance. Opening on this is a beautiful, bright, clean, zesty style of citrus. <sighs> nice zingy sort of lemon going on there, this bitter orange, and it's mixing with that Neroli. The Neroli is very forward in this fragrance, but you also get some nice soft white florals, adding a touch of sweetness to kind of counteract against that citrusy zing, that bitterness that's in there, some jasmine, some orange blossom that's mixed in there. In the base, you get this nice kind of green, herbal, almost watery style of herbal notes that are mixed in there, and you get a little touch of amber in there, adding almost a little bit of dustiness to it, a little bit of warmth, but through and through, this is a very neroli, citrus, white floral style of fragrance. Perfect for the spring, summer, definitely going to just shine in the high heat. Gorgeous scent profile on this, very fresh, very clean, very uplifting and invigorating. Performance on this is pretty good. I get about six hours of longevity and it does push out a pretty good for the first hour and a half to two hours before it does settle back in. Casual wear, office safe, wear it to the gym, high heat, banger. Absolutely love this one and it's definitely worth checking out. That's Mason Alhambra's Porto Neroli. All right, up next, got another Latafa and it's Latafa's Mahir Legacy. I can scoop this bad boy up for $37 at various discounters. This might be the freshest Latafa fragrance I have in my collection. This is a clone of Parfums de Marly's Sedley. 
super lively, energetic, sporty sort of feel going on to this one. Beautiful, sharp, bright citrus opening. <sighs> Grapefruit, a very lime forward fragrance, and it also has this really nice spearmint that works in there and there. So there's this fresh spiciness, this beautiful combination of citrus notes. I really enjoy the lime that comes through. Has that summer sort of feel going on to it. In the mid, you get some nice aromatics and some additional fresh spicy, almost kind of a pininess to it. There's juniper berry, there's pepper, there's geranium that's mixed in there. So it adds this kind of green facet to it, but gives it that kind of piney sharpness to it at the same point. In the base, you get some nice kind of lemon grassy style of woody vetiver, a little bit of musk and a little bit of additional sweetness from some ambroxan. But through and through, this is a very citrusy, aromatic green style of fragrance with a little bit of musk, sweetness and woodiness in the base. Beautiful, energetic, invigorating style of fragrance from Latafa, and I absolutely adore this one. Performance on this is about five, six hours of longevity, and it does push out fairly good for the first hour and a half before it does settle back in. Uh, great fresh summer style fragrance. This is just gonna absolutely shine in the high heat. Definitely worth having in terms of your Middle Eastern freshie collection. This is definitely one you need to pick up. That's Latafa's Mahir Legacy. All right, up next, going to the house of Franck Olivier, and it's Franck Olivier's Pure Addiction. You can scoop this bad boy up for $24, $27 at various discounters, and I bet you guys were thinking it would be another Middle Eastern fragrance, but throwing a curveball, we're going to have a non-Middle Eastern fragrance in this video. This is a very nice clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. This one, however, has a little bit of a twist to it compared to some other ones, um, compared to like Armoff Untold, for example. This one has a little bit more kind of an orange feel going on to it, but it still has that classic Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. Really nice orange accord that kind of opens up with. You got your saffron, your tangits, your jasmine, this nice sweet praline note that works in there, this white sort of amber, and a little bit of moss that's in this. Beautiful, well-balanced, very smooth interpretation of that Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. It's not overly sweet, but it still has that kind of wispy, cotton candy sort of sweetness going on to it. But it's not aggressive, it's not overpowering. I find with like the Armoff Untold, which I really enjoy that one, and it is a beast performer. That one's almost like a little too aggressive with how sweet it comes forward. It really pushes forward. It has this like this texture to it, whereas this is a nice smooth ride, a little easy to wear. It's not going to just blast off your skin and be an overly sweet ride. Really well blended, very smooth, easy to wear style of that. Very cozy, alluring, sexy, but it has that kind of masculine edge to it. Beautiful interpretation of the Baccarat Rouge 540. Seven, eight hours of longevity off my skin and it does push out really good for the first two hours before it does settle back in. Great fall winter style of fragrance. And again, if you're into that sweetness, that again, that cotton candy, wispy Baccarat Rouge 540 style of DNA for $24, $27, this is definitely worth picking up. That's Franck Olivier's Pure Addiction. All right, up next, going to the house of Afnan and it's Afnan's Tarothi Blue. You can pick this bad boy up for $37, $40 at various discounters. And this is a clone of Bulgari Tiger, and it is a beautiful fragrance. This has been getting talked about quite a bit in the community lately, including myself. I've talked about this a couple times because I just really enjoy the scent DNA of this fragrance. Really nice bergamot mandarin style of citrus opening. Very bright, very lively, very energetic, but it has a nice level of sweetness that's worked in there. Coming from the Mandarin, it has that kind of sweet orange sort of feel to it, along with some amber that's in the mid, adding to that sweetness, giving it a little bit of warmth, but it's still a very kind of lively, uplifting, invigorating style of citrus style sweetness. As this kind of develops, you get a little bit more wood accords start to come through, a little bit kind of a darker woods, but they're not heavy, they don't pull this fragrance down maintains that freshness, that liveliness as it works towards the dry down. And in the dry down, you get a little bit more kind of fresh spiciness that works through, that plays with those woods. But through and through, this is that lively, citrus, sweet style of fragrance. A very playful, very fun, and very smooth and well blended. Great quality of fragrance, especially for the price point of $37, $40. Definitely getting your money's worth. Performance on this is great as well. I get eight hours of longevity off my skin, and it does push out pretty hard for the first two hours before it does settle back in. Awesome spring summer style of fragrance. It's just the right balance of citrus, sweetness, with a little bit of kind of masculine woods and fresh spice in the base. Definitely worth checking out. That's Afnan's Tarathi Blue. All right, and up next, going to the house of Paris Corner. It's Paris Corner's Killer Oud Cabana. You can pick this sucker up for $32 at discounters, and this is a clone of Amouage Beach Hut Man. And this is, in my opinion, a great fragrance, but it's going to be a little bit challenging, a little bit perhaps too complex for some people. 
because it is a very green, vegetal, rooty style of fragrance, but I absolutely love this one. Opens up with a very nice kind of ivy, galabanum, orange blossom, and mint profile. So it has that very kind of lush, vegetal, rooty, kind of earthy sort of vibe going on to it with some nice kind of cooling mint that's worked in there. Some kind of soft, sweet white florals from that orange blossom that's in there as well. Really nice, kind of bright, uplifting, fresh green sort of vibe going on to it. In the mid, you get a little bit of vetiver that comes through, adding kind of a dry, woody grassiness to this. There's some more dry woods in the base, along with some myrrh. So this myrrh kind of adds a little bit of kind of like sweet resinous vibes to it, a little bit more earthiness to it as well. And there is some patchouli in there as well. So again, this is a very green style of fragrance, but it has a nice balance of those kind of cooling, fresh, spicy, has those kind of soft, sweet floral edges to it as well. Really nice balance, but through and through, this is a very lush, vegetal, green style of fragrance that's just absolutely perfect for the spring and summer. Like sitting in a, in a forest on a hot summer morning after it's been raining all night, that kind of vegetal, lush greenness going on to this one. Awesome, awesome fragrance, great scent profile on this, but like I said, a little bit challenging for some people. Performance on this, about five, six hours of longevity, and it pushes off fairly good for the first hour and a half before it does settle back in. If you like green fragrances, I think you should check this one out because this one is a fantastic spring-summer green fragrance. That's Paris Corner's Killer Oud Cabana. All right, up next, got another one from Paris Corner and it's Paris Corner's Amir, When the Soul Gets High. Now you can pick this bad boy up for $34 at various discounters. And this is a clone of by Killian's Back to Black. And admittedly, I didn't really care for this one when I first got it, but the more I wear this one, the more I really appreciate it and quite enjoy it. Very complex, unique, interesting scent profile on this with a laundry list of notes that go on this. Sweet, spicy, white honey tobacco, some tonka that's mixed in there. Interesting scent profile going on to this. Right out the gate you get that white honey, you get that tobacco accord so it has that kind of honey tobacco sort of feel. But you get this cherry that works in there, this berry raspberry that works its way through, this bitter almond that kind of dances against that sweet accord and kind of contrasts it in an interesting way. There's some gingerbread notes that's worked in there, believe it or not. Spices like saffron, nutmeg, cardamom. So it's got this sweetness, the spiciness, that honey, that thickness to it. And then there's this nice tonka that's in the base. It gives us like more of a powdery texture. And the more and more it gets towards the dry down, the more powdery this one gets. Fairly linear from the opening to the dry down. This doesn't change a whole lot. It does get a little bit warmer and a little bit more powdery as you get to that dry down. But what you're left with is this interesting dance of these sweet accords, that sweet berry cherry accord, a little bit more vanilla coming through with those spices, with that thick honey sort of accord going onto it. And that tobacco, really complex, interesting, unique, and quite enjoyable scent profile now that I've worn this a few times. Performance on this is beast mode. I get eight plus hours longevity, no problem, and it pushes off pretty hard for the first two, three hours before it does settle back in. Perfect cool weather fragrance, has that coziness, that allure, but again, that complexity to it that's might not be for everybody, but if you're willing to step out on a limb, give that sort of scent DNA a little bit of a chance, I think you might really enjoy this one. That's Paris Corner's Amir, When the Soul Gets High. All right, up next, I'm going to the house of Armoff, and it's Armoff's El Cielo. Now you can scoop this sucker up for $25 at various discounters. And this is a great kind of hybrid twist of Invictus Aqua as well as Invictus. It's, it's an Invictus inspired style of fragrance. And no one really talks about this one. And this is a great summer spring fragrance from our moth. Has this bright, juicy, sweet style of opening. Really nice kind of watery style of melon mixed with this like fresh, juicy style of sweet apple. Some bergamot and lemon in there too, giving it that kind of fresh uplifting citrus pop. In the mid you get a nice clean lavender, a little bit of kind of a florally violet, and you get this little bit of a cypress that pops through. So it gives it a little bit of kind of a fresh spice, a little bit of kind of a masculine edge to it. But through and through this is a very kind of juicy, sweet, fruity, sweet style of fragrance with those added citruses has a little bit of that kind of watery aquatic feel at the opening, but as this gets to the dry down, it just gets that kind of Invictus bubblegummy sweetness. Has a little bit of musk in the base, a little bit of cedar giving it kind of that masculine foundation, but through and through, this is a very fun, playful, flirty, youthful, sweet style of fragrance. Perfect for the spring and summer and just an overall great sort of Invictus interpretation. Performance on this, I get about six, seven hours of longevity off this and it does push off fairly hard for the first hour and a half, two hours before it does settle back in. For 25 bucks, this is just a great youthful style of fragrance, great interpretation of Invictus and definitely worth checking out. That's our Moffs El Cielo. All right, last, but certainly not least, staying with the house of our Moff and it's our Moffs 
Legacy. You can grab this bad boy for $20, $25 at various discounters, and this is a clone or a twist of Chanel's Platinum Ego East, and honestly, one of my favorite barbershop style of fragrances. One of the worst caps on the planet. I think I've mentioned that before, but I re I'm gonna take this lid off eventually. Opens up very clean, bright, green, aromatic style of fragrance. Got some lavender, some pedigreen, rosemary, galabanum. Has some nice florals in there, some jasmine, a little bit of rosiness to it as well. Nice musk in the base, a little bit of woodiness in the base. But through and through, this is a very clean, green, aromatic style of barbershop fragrance. Has that masculine sort of vibe going on to it with that kind of woody base and that just muskiness that comes through, that clean shaving cream sort of vibe going on to it. Really nice fragrance, gentlemanly, classy, but can be worn casually, just give you that fresh put together sort of feel going on to it. Beast mode performer, I get 10 plus hours of longevity off my skin with this one, and it does project pretty good for the first two hours before it does settle back in. So bang for your buck on the performance on this, 20, 25 dollars, you're definitely getting your money's worth, and the scent profile on this is absolutely fantastic. Fairly linear from the opening to the dry down, you're just gonna get that fresh, clean shave sort of vibe going on. Definitely worth checking out, that's our Moffs. Legacy. All right, so there you have it. That's 10 affordable clone fragrances that I think you should know about. And I wanna hear from you guys. What is one of your favorite clone fragrances? Middle Eastern house, designer house, doesn't matter. Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your different recommendations, hidden gems, different scent profiles. Appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you all next time.